Today I'm going to make a tutorial where I change this tire for the tire that's on the back of the bike. Finally going to have a new front tire. I actually bought that a while ago. Remember I was shopping with Skifu? I bought it back then. Still haven't put it on. I didn't want to do this. I went to the store, uh, to the tire shop, because somebody told me that every tire shop in Panama can just change a bike tire, no problem. So, the first one I went to, they told me, uh, yeah, no problem, we can do that. Son of a... Oh, boy. So, the first place I went to was just around the street. And, uh... He told me, yeah, sure, we can do it, no problem. And then I sat in the lobby and, well, he goes over to the, the person who writes up the work orders <clears throat> and tells her that I got a motorcycle tire that needs, needs to be changed. It's going to cost $8. And the look on this woman's face was like, $8? Like, I could tell that that was the most anybody in the, this entire country had ever paid to have a motorcycle tire changed. That's called paying the gringo price. So, I knew that I was getting taken for a ride, but I didn't care because I didn't care because I was already there and I just wanted to just wanted them to change the damn tire so I could go on a ride. So, I sat in there for like 10 minutes while several people came over and scratched their head and looked at my motorcycle. And uh, I hope something. I wonder if I should put that over there. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, I've now repositioned my motorcycle to be in the most precarious position possible for doing this job. Easy now. I made a huge mistake. It's gonna fall if I let it go. Now I'm in trouble. Right? Oh shoot. Okay, that's probably going to stay. Next thing I've got to do is get this rubber off the wheel. So, the first place sends me away after trying to charge me way too much money. Well, it was only eight dollars, which is a pretty killer deal compared to the United States. But uh, they sent me to the place just down the road. Oh yeah, they do it every day, no problem. Remember rule number one, nobody knows anything here. So, I drive up the street and uh, after asking about five employees of the place, they finally decide that no, we don't do it. We don't do it here either. So, I go, they tell me about another place and I said, screw it. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna pretend that I'm a man for, for the first time in my life. I'm gonna change this damn tire myself. So, I drove back home, and that's what I'm gonna do. This is the first time I've ever done this, by the way. Seen it done. Never done it. Probably break something. I hope it's not myself.
guys, I decided to break in here and uh, because I sped up this footage. Otherwise, this video would have ended up being 30 minutes of me being frustrated at a tire. But this really wasn't as difficult as a project as I thought it was going to be. You just need some time and a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. Once you get that first side off, you can reach in and pull a tire out. And then uh, you can get the rest of the tire off. So uh, after that, I deflated the tire the rest of the way and uh, put the one side on first, then stuck the tire in. I had some trouble getting the stem back in the hole, but it's just, I don't know that there's really any trick to it except just keep trying until it gets in there. Really, the only tools I used were the, the two levers. I've heard that if you have three levers, it makes it much easier. But I, I just used the two, and I had a flathead screwdriver there, but I really didn't end up, I really didn't end up using it very much. So I uh, deflate the tube the rest of the way and, and stuff it in there, then I monkey around with that for a while. I, I really that was probably the most frustrating part is getting that stem back in the in the hole that the rim has. Um, I kept flipping the tire around and used up my daily allotment of profanity. But uh, eventually got it in there, and the most difficult part was getting the new tire on and getting that getting that one that new edge all the way around. Uh, I thought that I was going to rip the tire in half as I as I went around, but I tightened that. I got that valve straight, and I and I tightened the nut down, and then I started just going around in the circle. That's, that's all you got to do. It's just going to get really hard there towards the end. You just gotta kneel on it and use those levers and and say by the power of gray skull a couple times and and then when you speed it up 900 percent you're gonna say well it doesn't look so hard but at normal speed I was like I think I'm gonna break this tire <laughs> I was I was getting uh I was getting nervous that the tire was going to rip, you know, the, the, the sidewall of this brand new tire was going to rip. But uh, luckily, I, I got it on, and uh, it's the first time I've done it, and I didn't think it was that bad. Ah. Yes. That easy. That easy, folks. There's probably. An easier way to do that, and you guys that know how to install tires, you are watching this cringing the entire time. Well, please leave some comments below with your with your tips. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried this, so I'm lucky I didn't destroy the tire, probably. But uh, you guys that are experts, please leave some comments below for the guys who who uh, like me that we don't know what we're doing. Now a lot of you are watching this and going, oh, but half throttle, what about balancing the tire? Well, sometimes tire stores, they run these scams. Like when you go in to change your oil, they're like, oh, your uh, air filter is going to give you cancer if you don't change it. Well, balancing a tire is one of those scams. A lot of people don't know that, but it is. So, especially when you have a motorcycle, I gotta put this on more stable ground. Especially when you have a motorcycle that uh, can only go 60 miles an hour. I, I really think that this tire, crossing my fingers, that this tire is gonna be well made enough to uh, not have to worry about that, and that I'm gonna be going slow enough. So. Uh, not gonna worry about balancing it unless it's a problem. In my next video, I'm gonna review a uh, pump, this portable motorcycle pump that I've had forever but only used a few times. So, check out the uh, annotation, jump to the next video where I'll be reviewing the motorcycle pump that I pack with me on trips to uh, in case I have an emergency.